Hello everyone. We got something in the mail today. And you guys have all seen this card, I'm sure. And the way the if you upload a, upload a picture other than using the team logo, how it how it goes out over that kind of a ribbon look, for lack of any other way of saying it, in that corner there. And, yeah, it was really bugging me, especially when I was trying to just do a white card. So, anyway, I ended up using this picture with the blue background to kind of hide the blue background of that picture, and it worked out okay. And, I mean, for what I could do, but for ordering a trading card, I wanted something. I wanted the white background so it matched everything else, which I need, needed to change that. So, I kind of went in there and kind of went in paint or whatever you call it and kind of smeared that corner out and dinked with the edges a little bit and after an undisclosed a classified amount of freaking that time of messing with it um for you who haven't seen it this one's actually the coa for my silver pores so after an undisclosed amount of time of dinking with it, I took the little picture there and played with it in paint or whatever you would call it. I think I smeared it out of there pretty good. If it'll focus. I think I did a pretty good job of rebuilding that ribbon back together again and getting rid of the blue so i was happy with that changed the wording around a little bit and there it is a trader so i didn't know what to put on it so i just put stuff on it so those are now available if anybody wants to do a trade and to get one of these, obviously I can't just hand out COAs all day long, but... And you know, it was weird, because when I ordered these, and I don't know, maybe it was a rush, because it was prime baseball card season printing time. I don't know what it is, but when I got to the checkout, and the little drop-down menu, 20 was all it let me order. So, I thought that was weird. And this time, it was 20 or 50, so which is good and it's been a while since I did another update video on these and Liberty Bleed Silver did a video this morning and I should have pulled these out earlier you know I just found this button let me try to hit this pause and we'll go by the magic of a simple pause button well look at that the little lights flashing that was my first edit in any videos. So anyway, these were the last batches, the last batch of pours. And they don't look as good as the first ones. It's got more pour lines in it, which is cool, but... I think I'm being too picky, but just see those little specks of not smoothness you know you can't even see this till after i throw it in the tumbler i'm probably being stupid that's why i went ahead and stamped these but they're not getting that nice smooth pour that you're not supposed to get by doing pours the companies that have that nice smooth they're doing it in a vacuum so but see how that one like sunk in in the middle like a loaf of bread where this one has a little, it's not. So, and this one's just got these crusty edges. I'm not sure what's with that. So the last batch, this one came out pretty smooth. But I overdid it with the punch. It's always something. But, you know, I was looking at that earlier. And I started thinking about it, and I'm not trying to call anybody out because I think they're actually about the coolest freaking 
sober pores, but which would and they're coming to mind when I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but the cowboy coins, their pores are just outstanding. But like around where they do their stamps, you can see the stamp. You know what I mean? They stamp it in there deep enough that you can... Th I don't know how to explain it. Other than... I'm starting to think the reason why they do it is you don't have that issue of getting a little corner in there. It'd be like if I grabbed the punches and went and hit, hit them all two or three more times until it did that around all of it. And it's the way some of the pores seem to look. So, yeah, this one had that kind of pretty good gloss on it. and Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm being too picky, but come on, focus. Oh, I'm not sure if it's the camera not focusing on this or my eyes not focusing on the screen, but I hope it's f focused better than it looks. And, you know, I thought about just grabbing a ball-peen hammer and doing like a hammer tone kind of a look to them. But my whole point of doing these pours is I wanted just a natural pour. I didn't want to go at it with sandpaper, hit it with a buffer, or file off little boogers. I think the boogers are kind of part of it. And, yeah. So that's kind of my thought on that. I've got more silver. It was delivered to the post office. i got to go pick up. And I think... I think that'll make four more. I think that was the plan, is to make four more with what I got coming in, so... And that'll give me seven available, so if anybody does see one of these that... they like... I've been put... I put pictures on Instagram, but... Yeah, I don't even know what to... If you are interested... Let's see, I guess it's this card... I put my contact information on there. Because why not? I got a COA. I might as well kind of do a business e cardy thing too. I was actually thinking about doing a card for Hammy. And I didn't put my Instagram on there, but Instagram is my Bronco 2. It's that. That's my Instagram. So just my Bronco 2. And actually, I thought about doing a card on that, too, because nobody here knows my Bronco, too, unless you go back way back. So, anyway, I don't know what I'm mumbling about, but I want to do an upgrade, update, show these are coming in, and those will be going out. I should have grabbed more envelopes. I've got, well, i got three of them. Yay. So, I'll be getting some envelopes when I mail some stuff out. I'll be mailing some of these out. And thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.